Welcome back to the channel everyone, you're here with Dave from Mad for Heli. This is episode 9 of the TB70 build series. Now, since our last video where we had the motor in, the ESC was going on and I was doing some wiring off camera, we um, seems to have a, we, we, we had a little altercation with to, uh, I was trying to update the firmware on the Align RCE BL130 badge topping wing and uh, somehow somehow shorted the battery <laughs> somehow shorted the lipos out and killed it I did test this I did I did stick the two ends into a battery and my lipo made the beeping sound started flashing it was working but uh, good old me. With these RC Pro Plus connectors, uh, when you've got, you know, when you've got all the wire hooked up, you've got your, you've got your wire hooked up. You can plug a 6S battery into it, but what you have to do is you have to pull the cables together, and you. You know, positive, negative, positive, negative, negative. Uh, I normally put red heat shrink on one of these, um, on normally on, because that's normally negative. And I put a little bit of red heat shrink here, just to, it's a visual thing for the eye to say, hey, that, that's the hot side, buddy. Um, you don't stuff that up. But I had the batteries here. I just don't know what I did. Was, let's just say it was a shortcut and I, I paid the ultimate price. And, um, Put a photo up of the connector it's not really melted melted but i put it together and it made a little bit of a spark and i kind of just started melting the connectors and i pulled them away and yeah tried it and and it's dead oh i have a electrical engineer who's good with circuits at work and i'm gonna get him to have a look and possibly salvage it it's it's pretty much rooted anyway so i'll, I'll, I'll give it a go uh, it'd be nice if i could it'd be cool if i could fix it but even more just I'll give it a crack. So that's off. Motor's off. In with this bad boy. The Scorpion 130 ESC. I'll put a link down below where you can get these from. Of course, Matt Valley. Um, fans on. One good thing about the fan is, if we have a look at the original fan that Align gave me, and it's not bad, but it just comes with this little dicky wire, which, you know, plugs into the side of the Align ESC. I've been trying to find some cables to make a Y, and it wasn't happening, and just my servo wires were too thick, and I couldn't do it, but anyway. This scorpion. I don't know if it's changed. Comment down below if this has changed, but have they always had a really long wire? Because they don't have anywhere in here to plug this in. You could you could make a Y off the front here if you wanted to on one of your uh, on one of your outputs. But I'm gonna neatly run this back to my ESC. I've got spare channels. Why not run it back to my ESC? Otherwise, otherwise you could chop it and you know redo the connectors and make this shorter. I hate things that are way too long and you've got to, you know, bunch them up and tie them up and it just looks shit. So, hence, hence that motor is out. Got to try something else. Would have liked to have tried it, so it's brand new. But, um, in with this. This is the, hopefully you can see that, it's the HK2 4225 500kV. It is a powerful, very, very powerful 600 motor and a, possibly a little bit underpowered if, you know, for a, for a heavy 700, but everyone's saying that this is a light 700, so. Um, got the 700 align blades, can always change them out and try. Uh, I've got a pair of Saab 690s somewhere I could try. 
but 12S, I'm gonna give this a go. You can probably roast me in the comments and tell me that I'm an idiot, whatever. I'm doing it for the, doing it for the channel, doing it for you guys. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, if 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 you've got a light bird out there, you know, I don't have a set of scales. I should have weighed it, but it's it's considerably lighter. You know, look at this, look at the size difference. So you've got cans there, and then you know, just look at the difference. It, it's it's lighter. So bringing everything a little bit lighter future proof myself with a 130 so if this is underpowered and we do need to put a 45 45 25 in then i've still got plenty of juice up my sleeve plenty of headroom this will do quite fine very very versatile speed controller probably i reckon one of my favorites being you can run these on 6s or 12s and they are still very light so this is happening. So, while I've got you, we'll we'll, uh, we'll put it in. Fits straight in, so I did have to cut, did have to cut a flat on this one, just for the grinder, that worked. Just, just wanted to double check that it's somewhat flat. Nice and hard anyway. Looks pretty good. Once the grub screws wound down on there, it'll be alright. Right. Looking at that, that's the front. That's where we want it. Now, I don't know who was who was uh calling me names the other day when we put blue Loctite on. Well yeah, I got myself some red Loctite. So for all you Guys out there that were calling me an idiot, don't use blue Loctite, it's gonna come loose. They were pretty tight, they make that when you, when you crack them, so. We'll put some red in. Be the first time I'm using red, and probably regret it, because I should just stick to what I know. But anyway, I'll do it for you guys. So we're just gonna put a drop on. Dot. Tricky if you put too much on, you don't want to waste. Rub it off on another one. You almost get three out of that drip. love a new bottle of Loctite. It's, uh, it's like fresh nectar. Or, you know, when you've done a few builds and you leave it out and you leave the cap off and it kind of goes a little bit shitty inside, so just make sure you replace the cap. Loctite goes off with air. Air and pressure. Should not have to do these as tight. Really should have cleaned these holes out, but anyway, there we go. One new motor. It's <laughs> so much smaller. Anyway, I'm really looking forward to checking this out. That's that. And so, while We've been off camera. Hope you can see that. Just adjust the camera a bit. I have. We have installed a couple of wires loose. I would recommend having that, like I said in another video, have that get that main gear all set in there and, and loosely. But honestly, it should almost be the last thing you put in because it must just be an absolute nightmare to get all those wires in when that gear's in there. So do yourselves a favor and leave it out. Yeah. Let's install this. Very easy to install. Back to the blue Loctite. 
to get myself a bit of plastic. I lost it, I cut myself. I keep a, uh, just keep an old one and I just cut it up. If you, if you throw it out or you don't want to wipe it down, just keep cutting it up and using that as your little pad for Loctite. these ones as it's the motor. Push these cables down. These holes, these slots are a lot nicer than some that I've seen. You want your holes to be, you know, pretty, pretty tight. Your, uh, your slots here. Leave them loose for now. Belt can go on after. Yeah, these are loose. I don't really care if the uh, I don't really care if the Loctite dries up. I'll just I'll tighten them up. If I don't like it, I'll take them out and redo it. Kind of once you've got a blob in there and it kind of fills up those threads you know me pretty good so we'll make sure we make sure we push it all the way back ready for the belt install all the way back all right Motor in. We've got, like I said, cables. I've also run the uh, made one, made one of the uh, Neo telemetry cables up. Just out of servo wire. Probably a bit too thick, but that's that's all I had. Could sheath it, but honestly, the you can't really see a lot of it in here, so I'm just gonna leave it. I want to get this bad boy flying for Sunday. So, all right, let's um. That's about it. That's that's the news I had. So, you know, and then the speed controller goes in here. Let's just see what this color looks like. Look at that. It's kind of a similar red to the servos. A little bit more ready than this kind of pinkish, but gonna look good gonna look good well thanks for stopping in hope you've enjoyed the upgrades comment below if you if you think this motor is gonna go all right or you're keen to see it and uh hit that subscribe button the alarm it will ring that bell in a for the next uh so you know when the next video is out and give us a thumbs up thumbs down that's whatever well, you know new to this so thanks everyone for stopping by I'll uh, catch you next time.